Dublin. Darkey lies by the coast between Dunleary and Killiney. Darkey means Torn Island and took its name from the Darkey Island. It is just half an hour from the city of Dublin, one of our favourite spots in County Dublin. This is Codymore Harbour, but we will come back later to take a boat to visit Darkey Island. We start in Dawkey Castle. Dawkey Castle was built to store goods which had been offloaded in Dawkey during the Middle Ages. At the moment your visit combines a rare medieval townhouse castle with an exciting contemporary visitor experience. The archer, the cook and the barber surgeon lead an immersive living history experience. You can't fill them inside but you can take as many pictures as you want. You even learn how coins were struck. You can visit St. Begnet's church and graveyard here which is dedicated to the local St. Begnet. It is one of two churches in the area named after Begnet, the second is on Dockey Island. You can go to the top of the castle and see the view of Dockey Town. You might spot the other tower in Dawkey Quarry. People used it in medieval times to communicate with the Martello Towers. We will go to visit that tower later. Opposite Dawkey Castle is the Church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It has been a place of welcome and worship since 1841. The church is a Gothic revival structure built with local granite and rendered with a square bell tower. Close by is Archibald's Castle, one of the seven fortified townhouses built by the merchants of Dublin in the 14th century to store the goods being unloaded in Dawkey. The next stop is Bullock Harbour. Bullock Harbour is a small working harbour on the southern end of Dublin Bay. It's home to crab and lobster fishing, small boat moorings, boat rental, docky sea scouts, sea angling, kayaking and all forms of small scale maritime activity. On the way to the harbour is St. Patrick's Church. On the way to Dawkey Quarry we can find the Cat's Ladder on Vico Road. It is named after ladders used on steep roofs. The 237 steps cover 127 feet in altitude. The route is over 100 years old and is a public right of way. At the top you will find Torca Cottage which was the home of George Bernard Shaw from 1866 to 1874. He was an Irish playwright, critic, polemicist and political activist. He wrote more than 60 plays. Shaw became the leading dramatist of his generation and in 1925 was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. This is the entrance to Dawkey Quarry. It is a bit confusing because there are four different paths and just one of them, which is quite hidden, is the one that brings you up the hill. The path on the left and the path straight ahead are just a loop, about one kilometre, and even though it doesn't go up the hill, it is still a nice walk. 
you can climb those rocks with the right equipment. There is another path on the right but that doesn't go up the hill either. Just slightly before the path there is a hidden track which will bring you up there. It is a bit of a tight squeeze. We are getting closer to the tower. Keep walking eventually you will find another track but you may not expect to find a proper path. The path on the right goes to Kalini Playground Car Park. The path on the left goes to the tower. If you keep going you will find the way to Kalini Hill which is absolutely stunning. We will have a video about this spot too. On your return from Docky Quarry there is a lane on the left called the Metals. It is a path that dates back to the old rail line used to bring granite from the Docky Quarry to build the Dunleary Piers. Let's go back to the harbour. On the way there there are a few interesting things worth seeing. This is Sorrento Park. It is not particularly well known. This small but fine park, actually a lushly overgrown hill in the village, is definitely worth a visit. With vistas stretching from the Hoth Peninsula in the north all the way to the Wicklow Mountains in the south, the view is amazing. This is Dylan's Park, it is perfect for a picnic. There are plenty of benches here. The views over to Docky Island are superb. Dylan's Park is also home to an ancient holy well that was once part of Celtic Christian rituals. It was only uncovered around 2016. Great for fishing and feeling the peace and tranquility of the landscape. Let's go back to the harbour and take a boat to Docky Island. We took a small boat from Collymore Harbour. It takes just a few minutes to get there and comes and goes very often. You can also take a cruise from East Pier in Dunleary. Docky Island is uninhabited, but there is evidence of human occupation dating back to the Neolithic period and it is said that it was also used as a Viking base. There are ruins of a church dating back to the 7th century, which is named for St. Begnet. An older wooden church was probably here before the present stone one was built. The Martello Tower at the southern end of the island was one of a number of towers built along the Irish coast in the early 19th century as defensive structures from the threat of the French invasion. Extensive archaeological excavations took place in the 1960s which uncovered evidence of a churchyard and a number of burials. The skeletons were not exclusively male as has been suggested but they were in majority in keeping with the fact that it was an early Christian monastic site. Docky Island is home to rabbits and a herd of goats. The waters around Docky Island are much used for sailing, angling and diving. Rocks known as Maiden or Carrig Rock, Clare Rock and Lamb Island all to the northwest form part of the ridge of the island. 
Parts of these rocks are only visible at low tide. The southern end of the island is a favourite with kayakers, especially on the flooding tide. The rocks to the east of the island are known as the Moglins and are a different group or chain. These form a danger to shipping and have been fitted with a distinctive beacon. While a lighthouse was installed on an adjacent rock to warn seafarers of this dangerous place, the rocks are popular resting places for seals. We love this town. We hope you can visit and enjoy all that Dawkey has to offer. Don't forget to like and subscribe.